On last week's episode of Outdoor Quest TV, Vanessa missed a giant dull sheep ram. But don't count her out yet. She's back on the trail of another big ram with North Curl Outfitters. Wait till stop and get yourself a good rest. He's gonna right stop. There. He's gonna stop right there. What's yet? Now's your chance. Drill him. What's he at? What's he at? Uh, sorry, he's at 280. 280. Try again. Well, this is one really disappointed girl, but we tried our best. We did our best. We did so. That was a long slog after we left that ram. We ended up coming back up the way we went down, so another steep mountain climb. Came across the valley where we went this morning. Saw those sheep, thought we'd go back onto them. We actually found 11 rams sitting right below us. And when you know it, I looked lower into the valley and there's our sheep. We're hoping that group of 11 rams will go up through a pass and into the bowl of the mason where we keep going into um, closer to camp. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Zeiss Sport Optics. We make it visible. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Puma SGB Knives, knife maker to the world since 1769. Corlane Sporting Goods, home of the Rocky Mountain Rifle. Defense aerosols, bear spray for when your life depends on it. Silver Willow Taxidermy, capturing the memories. Loa Boots, simply more. Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Deluxe wall tents, built in Canada for Canadian conditions. And Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. Day four, we put the ramps to bed, just coming up towards the nice little saddle. Went back, had a long hike back to camp. Nice rest. Can't climbed back up the mountain, peeked over the side, and there were the ten rams bedded on the other side of the saddle. So the plan is, is we're gonna go down one side. There's a little bit of a ridge. Try and sneak down, get a little closer where we range them on the top here. They were 750 yards away, so it's just too windy to take a shot, shot like that. So we're gonna try and sneak down on them. Hopefully get a good shot.
facing and one's behind, one's not facing. The broomed one is facing and the loopy one is... Okay, so those are the two big rams, so... One's down eating right now, Mac. Pardon me? The broomed one's, the broomed ram is the one feeding? Yeah. And the tipped ram is the one facing away. Okay. Where are they? They are, they're 300 but shoot for 250. He just turned his head, right? Yeah. Yeah, the big one is the one that just turned his head. So if he goes broadside and gives you a good profile, you can take him. This is Corlane's Gun Tech Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Rod from Corlane Sporting Goods in Dawson Creek, and today we're going to talk a little bit about fluting barrels, why we flute barrels. Uh, these are just a few examples here of, uh, this is obviously a varmint barrel that's been fluted, a couple sporters. So why we flute barrels, it changes the weight of the barrel. Obviously we're going to cut, depending on the barrel OD, we'll cut anywhere from two to 12 ounces off of a barrel. Uh, depending on what the customer is looking for, we keep them within safe tolerances. We don't want to cut a flute too deep, causing a barrel to become weak. Uh, it changes the harmonics of the barrel, often improving accuracy. It uh, lightens the barrel, changes the balance point of the rifle, and uh, it looks cool. So there's a few examples. If you have any questions, just give us a buzz at Corlane Sporting Goods, Dawson Creek. This tip has been brought to you by Corlane Sporting Goods, home of the Rocky Mountain Rifle. Yeah, that other ram's moving. Still know which one's yours, Vanessa? Yep. And this one's still standing with his butt to me. Yep. It's not cooperating. Oh, crap. That one might move. It's okay. We've got time to move. He's out in the open. He's the back ram of the two.
got those three. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, the one with his head behind those rocks there? Yeah. Just wait till he steps out. He's the one furthest to the left. Just take your time, nice and easy. You see all three of them, Vanessa? Yep, yeah. I'm on them. Okay, if you're on that one, you just, nice and easy. Whenever you think, Still the one on the left facing us. He's facing us now. <laughs> He's just gonna open up a bit for you here. Ready? Reload, you got him. Well, it looked like Vanessa hit that ram, but they ran in behind those rocks right there and they haven't come out. It's been about 10 minutes. So we're just kind of waiting to see. Well, since rushing in, nobody looks too spooked down there, so with any luck he's down. That's him. Here he comes. He's down. <laughs> Man, I went through like every emotion. It was like adrenaline. I shot him, and then it was like, I think I'm gonna puke. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah. We got the big boy though. We did, it was good. <laughs> that was quite some stock though. Yep. My goodness. <laughs> Rip my pants. <laughs> Somewhere here. It's all good. This trip's been hard on pants for me. <laughs> Holy cow, we have put in some miles on this trip. Oh my goodness. Up a mountain, down a mountain, up another mountain. That was an incredible stock though. We came down through some rocks. Like if you see up all those rocks up there, we had to go to the far side of those. <laughs> yeah, sorry I didn't film much coming down, but I was, was just trying to hang on. It was sketchy. We had like cliff and we're trying to like move so that we don't move a single rock because they're all bedded like right here. Wind up by us, absolutely no wind where they are. So, and then we're scooting all the way across here on our butts, just sliding through, through the moss and, and the rocks. But... We got her done. <laughs> well, we got her all cleaned up. What a spectacular ram. What a spectacular hunt. <laughs> yes, this is a beautiful ram and the hunt was lots of fun. We were uh, a lot of hiking and a lot of, a lot of sheep chasing, but it all paid off here. So it's a really heavy, nice, beautiful old ram. And we've seen lots of rams. I mean, we've got a whole bunch of them right behind us too. <laughs> yeah, there's still nine more uh, bedded down about 400 yards from us right now. They weren't too concerned and there's, I guess about three, three full curl rams in that yeah. bunch still, so. Now you hunt doll sheep, but you also hunt stone and moose as well? Yeah, moose, grizzly, stone sheep, and doll sheep. And the majority of our hunting is, uh, is for doll sheep and right. moose. Yeah. yeah, it's just been spectacular. This, uh, this is a nice old ram here. You got a lamb tip out there. <clears throat> That's uh, their first year. The second year, the growth rings start mm -hmm. and it comes back in. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
Wow. So this ram's in his 10th year uh, right now, which is great. I mean, 10 year old ram is a nice, nice old ram. Rams start uh, naturally dying, you know, about seven, eight years old. Okay. And then they can live up to, I think 17 years old is the longest or the oldest ram recorded in the Yukon. So, but uh, 10 is getting up there. 10, 11, 12 is a getting into really old rams. Yeah, I know when we were glassing him, he sure stood out from the rest of them, like even body-wise and then, of course, <laughs> headgear-wise. Yeah, he's so. definitely heavier than the other ones, and uh, they get a big pot belly and thicker, and you can really notice it when you've got other sheep to compare them to. Hey, I just want to thank North Curl Outfitting. Mac, I want to thank you so much. It's been awesome. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure. <laughs> well, we made it back for packed all the meat and the horns and everything. It was quite a bit of a hike back up the mountain and down the mountain, but we were so happy to see the horses still here. So hop on the horses and then ride about an hour back to Spike Camp. Have a wonderful night, get some rest, and head back to main camp tomorrow. So oh, what a sweet, sweet day. It has been absolutely a dream come true. So we just finished up a hunt here with Mac Watson at North Curl Outfitters and man, this has got to be one of the most incredible places I have ever hunted dull sheep. Mac, tell us a little bit about this area. Well, it's a great sheep area here. I just uh, started running it last year and uh, this is the first full season taking uh, clients this year. <clears throat> and it hasn't uh, been outfitted in in about 17 years. Um, it left dormant for quite a while. So there's lots of good opportunity and it has really good populations of doll sheep here. The doll sheep in the Southern Lakes region here is the highest concentration of doll sheep in the Yukon. And from what you saw on the hunt, obviously, I mean, there's uh, a lot of sheep in a tight area. So it's a lot of fun. You get to see a lot of rams and uh, just a lot of action when you're out hunting. Now it's hard to look at a mountain without seeing sheep. Usually you're looking for the mountains with sheep on them here. You're looking for the ones that don't have sheep. It's incredible. I've never seen sheep numbers like it. There's definitely a bunch. And we're really in the high alpine here too. There's not a lot of timber. Um, up where we hunt. So the sheep live uh, in the basins, in the valleys, a lot lower than they would in a lot of other areas uh, sometimes. Well, now you also hunt moose, grizzly bears, and you got a little bit of stone sheep as well. I do, yeah. I do a lot of moose hunts, uh, grizzly, and uh, we have some stone sheep on our eastern border and not near the population of the doll sheep, but I'm going to do, uh, it'll be a place where I do a couple hunts a year, I would imagine. Now you run some pretty old school horseback hunts and you know for somebody who wants to experience a real horseback hunt I, you know I've hunted with your family for 20 years and you guys have always done things the same way and it's the right way. Oh thank you I appreciate that we uh, we do I concentrate on horseback hunts traditional hunts um, we do do the odd backpack hunt if people like but it's mostly horseback and I've got really good country here for horses there's good horse trails and uh, good camps uh, most of my camps are cabin camps and then you'll spike out from there maybe stay in pup tents or wall tents when you're out uh, on your sheep hunt and come back to kind of a little bit of a base area like this. To book your own dream hunt in the Yukon for doll sheep, grizzly bears, moose and stone sheep, check out North Curl Outfitters at northcurl.com. Cast and crew of Outdoor Quest TV flew with Air North, Yukon's airline. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Zeiss Sport Optics, we make it visible. Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Puma SGB knives, knife maker to the world since 1769. Corlane Sporting Goods, home of the Rocky Mountain Rifle. Defense aerosols, bear spray for when your life depends on it. Silver Willow Taxidermy, capturing the memories. Loa Boots, simply more. Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Deluxe wall tents, built in Canada for Canadian conditions. And Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. Check us out online at OutdoorQuestTV.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.